Hi, you've reached Jenea of Jenea Beads, www.geneabeads.com. I'm going to show you how to use PicMonkey's collage. So we're going to click on the collage button here. And then we are going to go into the folder of the photos that we want to use. Next, you can click the picture that you want to use with your mouse. And then if you hold the control key and click as well, you can select multiple photos at the same time. And then you're going to click open. So next what you'll see is the collage screen and I'm going to have to rotate you here very carefully so you can see that. So this is over on your left and you can see all of the little images that you selected here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to choose the layout that we would like for our collage by clicking this little square and rectangle looking button. So you have a couple options here. You have um, the ducks in a row here, which will be side by side, square deal, which will be boxes, biggie smalls, which is a long and shorter squares, all squares here for the elegant, and then you have a Facebook cover, which obviously we're not gonna use right now since we're just doing a photo collage. So since I have four, I'm gonna go ahead and use the square deal. And I'm gonna use this awesome four block right here. So we just click on that and now you can see the four block that is on the screen. So now what I'm going to do is click back on the little photo icon right here and I'm going to select my photos and you just grab these with your mouse and drag them over to your collage. You can also play around with the sizing in your collage. So say for instance, I'd like to get more of this photo in there. You can see where it's cutting off the speed. So I can grab this and stretch it to make it longer or make this shorter here. And you can also go and add more photos. So I would go back to the open photos select my photo and then go back over here and grab the photo and drag it back to my collage and I can tuck this photo in here on the side long ways in the middle kind of wherever I want to go and then I can always come back here and I can adjust this in whichever direction I need to to make my photos fit So we'll just go back to the original floor block. Next, what we can do is we can select the color around our collage. So we're going to go back over here and we're going to click on the little paint palette. And that's going to give us our color, which we can select from this color menu or the black at the bottom, or we can use this little dropper and we can pick up one of the colors from our pieces in here. So let's say we'll grab some kind of pink over here since we've got a lot of that going on. And then you would just click to select your color. Now what you can do is you can get a little fancy here and you can go over to the spacing and corner rounding and you can adjust the spacing by sliding it if you want something big like that. 
or you can go to the quarter rounding, which is one of my favorites. So I'm just going to turn this up here and then I'm going to turn my spacing back up until I get the space around the photos that I like. So now I see that this is a little bit off and I can just go back and adjust that by sliding this photo up. Or you can always go back to your boxes over here and then you can click on the same template that you used in the beginning and it'll just reset everything back to where it was. So there is that. Now you can click on save and you can then name your collage whatever you want. So I'll just call mine Janea Beads New. And then I go to save to my computer. Then I'll just save it to the folder that I originally used the photos from. Click save. And then you are ready to upload your collage to whichever place you would like to share your photo. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.